Hey, Theo, how do y'all go into the season and changing expectations? Um, this whole uh, season, the whole team is going in just very, very motivated. And um, we have endless possibilities in front of us. We've all been working hard in the offseason. We've all been coming together and really banding together. So our expectations are just to get tighter and to work as hard as we possibly can. Theo, you've gone through your, your first full offseason with the team now. Um, during the spring, you had taken on kind of more of a vocal leadership on the practice field. Is that something that you'll plan on continuing? And talk about the role you're taking on yourself as a leader this year. Um, I do plan on continuing that um, for the team. And I feel as though, uh, like like you said, it's been a full year with Georgia State, and I feel really uh, part of the team. And I feel that um, I, as well as other players on this team, the older guys can really help bring the best out of the younger guys and everybody to just band together and, and uh, keep on trucking through this entire season. Leadership is something that we that we do need and that we value on this team. How has the transition been to uh, Coach Mentor's defense uh, so far? As, you know, I mean, you've only had a spring in the summer, but uh, how's that transition been? Um, I think I can speak for the whole defense and say that we we love the defense. It's um it's very fast paced. He really gets the best out of us, and it's very exciting. Um, uh, he he had spoke about before being vocal, and everybody's vocal on the field because everybody's energetic, everybody's positive, and everybody's just trying to get after it. So I think that that's the biggest thing that Coach uh, Mentor brings to the table is just to bring all the excitement, bring all the attitude, and bring the fun to football. How specifically do you? Um, I think that me, along with uh, some of the other defensive linemen, have uh, proven ourselves to be one of the strong points of the defense. And um, we can really help each other and bounce things off of each other when you got um, guys like me, Terrence Woodard, and Nerman Delic really working hard side by side. I think that um, we all just complement each other. And then when we get things right, the secondary gets things right, and it all just, it all just meshes. But as everybody's always heard with football, it all starts up front. Do you have any uh, any personal goals for, for yourself this season and, and your performance on the field? Not really. I just want, as a team, I want us to succeed. I want us to do well. And I want to do everything in my power to, to do so. So if that's, if that's playing whatever position they want me to, I'll play whatever, end tackle, whatever. I just want to see the team do well. First year in, in FBS and a new conference, understandably there, there aren't a whole lot of expectations. Do you feel like the, the team has kind of taken that and, and kind of put it on its back like a chip on its shoulder and, and given it a little extra boost there, extra motivation? Um, we hear it, but we don't, um, we don't feed into it. Uh, we're Essentially, we're running our race. You know, we, we're the horse with the blinders on, just going full speed ahead. We're not really concerned about um, external things. We're worried about us in this room as a family, as Panthers. Easy question. What is your opinion of the new uniforms? <laughs> I love them. I think I can speak for everybody on the team and say uh, we all we all love them. And uh, I was excited to see them. I think the the university was excited to see them. The team, the coaches, everybody. So I'm just happy for it, and it really embodies our new direction. We're just going full speed ahead, and we're going to look good doing it. How's your health? Perfect. <laughs> when did you reach perfection? Uh, it was probably the beginning of May. I came off the shoulder, but it was really a minor thing. So the beginning of May, I've been 100% for about three months now. Uh, how has the transition to Jeff Jagosinski's uh, offense been for you so far? It's been awesome. He uh, he has some things that I've never seen before that are absolutely amazing, and he you can tell from his uh, resume that he knows what he's talking about and. I just believe our offense is going to be very, very explosive this year. How would you say your your chemistry has been developing with quarterbacks? Obviously, you've been with Ben for a while now, and then uh, working with Clay in the off season. Have Have you guys started to get a good get chemistry going? You and Drew had had a really good chemistry. Yeah, I'd say with all three of them, uh, everyone has good chemistry. We did so many seven on seven drills this this summer. Uh, I couldn't couldn't even count. And I just feel like every every receiver knows when that ball's coming out of any of the quarterback's hands. So I would say overall chemistry with everybody is really good. And what makes this offense interesting? What are, what are the, without getting too technical, the things you've never seen before? Uh, it's just some of the concepts and uh, the terminologies and stuff, and just the way to get the the ball in some playmakers' hands is a little different. And uh, it's just 
it's just it's awesome. Uh, are there any freshmen or upcoming guys that, that have impressed you so far this off season? I could probably only speak for the uh, receiving core because I'm around them all the time. But uh, Robert Davis, number nineteen, he's a he's an athletic freak. He can jump out of the gym. He can do everything, and he's going to be a good player for Georgia State in the coming years. Um, talk about the the experience with with the wide receivers, and and uh, I think that the top five or six guys are, are back again for, for the third straight year. Um, talk about what you think that brings to the team, and, and you guys put a lot of pressure on yourself to, to carry the team because of that. Yeah, well, the receivers are like a – like we're all brothers, big family. Uh, like you said, like five or six of us, me, McCray, Albert, Jordan, uh, some of the other guys have been together for four and five years. So, uh, yeah, we, uh, we feel like we can lead the offense – along with all the other position groups, but we don't put any pressure on ourselves. It's just we know when we got to make plays, then we got to make them. Having been in this program now for a while, with all the new stuff that you've had to do deal with throughout your career, and especially this year, have you had, had so much transition in, in one year, and, and what do you feel like the biggest challenge is going to be from that this year? It definitely has been different since the coaches got here, but that's a good different. Oh, very good, different. Um, I don't know if there's any challenges. It's just uh, we got to go out there and work hard, work our tails off, and uh, have each other's back when it comes to game day. Uh, entering your first FBS full season, uh, you're going to have a consistent schedule from here on out, and I know you're a senior. But uh, what, what are the uh, team's outlooks on playing teams like Alabama, West Virginia, uh, more teams that are more regionally located, so to speak. Uh, excited. Everyone's super excited to get after, out there and uh, play with those guys, and especially not even Alabama, West Virginia, the other teams too. It's just if I had to sum it up in one word, it would be excited to uh, get out there and show them what we got. Uh, the same question I asked Theo at the very beginning. How do you all go about changing the expectations for this year? Uh, we're just coming here with the right mind every day, ready to get after it on the field, in the weight room. Uh, everyone's doing what they have to do off the field in the class, and uh, we just come, come in focused, ready to do what we have to do to be ready for the season. How will um, Grant King's – non-participation in practice, how will that affect the line? I mean, it's unfortunate, but, uh, you know, the next guy has to just step in and do what they have to do. They have to do. They know they have an opportunity to get it, get play time. So that's what you have to take it as and uh, just work hard, keep working hard. We just got to act like he never left and just do what we have to do. From a lineman's perspective, talk, talk about the, the transition to the new offense. Uh, obviously, the, the, the assignments are probably quite a bit different from what you've had to do the last couple of years. How, how's that transition been? Well, I mean, I, haven't, I didn't get to practice in spring, but just sitting in and learning the new stuff, it's not necessarily confusing, but it's, it's obviously different. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. But, uh, yeah, it's quite a change from going what we used to do to what we have now. It's very different. One of the themes of the spring was uh, increasing the intensity level. For instance, Coach Miles made you all redo the, the run out of the tunnel at the spring game. How did that carry over into the workouts and where the coaches aren't as involved? Um, how did that carry over with the players? Uh, I felt like it built more discipline amongst the team. We uh, just from going out there and having to repeat stuff. I mean, nobody really wants to do that, but uh, it, I really felt like it built discipline amongst us. And so going into summer workouts, everyone everyone was always on time. Um, I don't think anybody missed unless somebody got sick. That was really the only excuse you had. But other than that, we were all there doing what we had to do, working hard. What? Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. 
Um, what would you say is the biggest difference between this coaching staff so far that you've experienced from the prior regime with Coach Curry? Uh, I mean, they're all different. Uh, none of the coaches are the same. Um, everyone's – all the coaches are really good guys. They're all hard workers, and that's what they try to instill in us is to work hard and just come out ready to play. Oh uh, yeah, I mean they do expect more out of us, but I mean that's just all coaches are basically like that. But yeah, they they do drill us pretty hard, make us. I mean they, what is I'm trying to say? Uh, they make us come early to everything, make sure we're on time, uh, doing right in class, doing right on the field, just all in general, doing everything right. Um, talk about the, there's a lot of. Uh freshmen um, along the offensive line this year that were brought in. I think uh, three or, or maybe four guys were signed last year and then also the defensive line. Talk about some of those guys. Did you see uh, um, how many uh, – pick out some guys that you think um, strength-wise are ready to contribute to the team? Uh, A.J. Kaplan, definitely. He's strong in the weight room. He's also, from what I've seen on the field, he's – Really good technique-wise. Also on D-line, um, Shawanye Lawrence, he's very good. He's he's a beast in the weight room. That kid, he's lifting as much as some of the older guys. And uh, I haven't really seen him as much on the field, but from what I've heard, he has pretty good feet and pretty good hands, and I'm ready to see what they're able to do on the field.